there. There you go. I'm Emily Solis, um, Greg Solis and Monica Solis' daughter. <laughs> and you guys are probably looking at me up here like, what is it, like, well, she's like 14 with like tennis <laughs> shoes on, like what, like, and I know I don't have a testimony like you all, you all are older and wiser than I am, but hearing CJ's story inspired me because I went to the FCA camp. I just got back yesterday. And my sister and brother also went. My brother was a huddle leader. And he went a few days prior to pray because he was a huddle leader. And they all just like literally like two or three days straight just like prayed for us and prepared for us to come. So I already knew there was going to be a lot of impact on my life. So I went, and the speaker was amazing. The worship was unreal. And I heard a story, and I shared it with my dad for, like, <laughs> I talked about it for, like, 10 hours. <laughs> Not really, maybe five. But, like, <laughs> um, and there was a story, and there was these two people. One was lie, and one was truth. And they went skinny dipping. <laughs> and they were in the pool, and they started playing games, and they started playing Marco Polo. And then Lai was like, let's play, let's play that game where we see how long we could hold our breath under the water. And Truth was like, OK, yeah, let's do that. So they go one, two, three. And Truth goes underwater. Lai doesn't. Lai goes out of the pool, takes Truth's clothes, <laughs> and just leaves. And Truth comes up and is like thinking he's winning and comes up out of the water and sees that Lai's gone. And not only is he gone, but took his clothes also. And so he's like naked <laughs> and he has to go. The first place he goes is knocks on Lai's door. And he opens the door and, and Truth's like, give me my clothes, bro. Like, why'd you, why'd you leave? And, and Lai's like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, I've just been watching movies all night. And like, Truth's like, you're wearing my clothes. Like, <laughs> what are you saying right now? And so this fight is brought onto the street. All the neighbors are around watching it. And all the neighbors have to think, are they going to believe lie in truth's clothing? Or are they going to believe the naked truth? <laughs> and that's just like, I know it's like a silly story, but like... <laughs> But it just really hit me because, like, being my age, it could be really tough. And I've been brought up in a Christian home, and I've loved Jesus for as long as I could remember. But obviously, like, it's hard being my age. And I've been led astray, and I've been separated for God from God for a little bit. But, like, being at camp and, like, no, being explained that, Although sin looks good and it feels good and it's fun, it's not like in the devil will lead you to a certain point and then they just said like they, he makes it seem good and good and good and then he just leaves you like on the street being a bum like mm -hmm. and and so I just really had an epiphany at camp that Jesus is the way mm -hmm. and he is the naked truth, and not a lot of people will believe it, but, yeah, I do, so. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.